Good morning, Memphis. Welcome to our internet listeners and podcast listeners across the 50 states. You're on Real Estate Mortgage Shop. I'm your host, Joe Garner, Mortgage Loan Officer. You can connect with me at jogarner.com. Our general topic today is passing the critical test when your home and your finances need to look their best. Subscribe to get our weekly blog post and podcast. You can do that. Uh, Jerry Jeffries of Tiger Paws Carpet and Upholstery Cleaning will be giving you some tips on keeping your carpet clean and your home for those important guests that you want to impress. You may be just stopping by your house today. Jerry Jeffries of Tiger Paws Carpet and Upholstery Cleaning is sitting in our co-host chair ready to help you with some tips on what to do and who to call when you find out very important guests are coming to your house. Someone who, well, maybe they're going to launch you into your dream job. Friends from your office or your church coming to visit you at your home for the first time. And it may be your future (laughs) in-laws. So important guest when it's important to pass that critical test. What is the, what is um, critical for your home or your office to pass that test? Jerry Jeffries, She can help you out. So, Jerry, take a moment and tell us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about Tiger Paws Carpet and Upholstery Cleaning. Well, anybody who recognizes the name knows that Tiger Paws Carpet has been around for about 17 years or so now. Um, I have owned it for the last four years, and uh, we are growing and growing and adding services every day. So we have uh, carpet and cleaning, of course. We clean tile and grout. We clean some hardwood floors. Uh, we also do restretching and repair, um, and we also now have general house cleaning services, and we have recently been certified by the IICRC for water remediation and structural drying, so wow. we can handle it, pretty much all of it now. Well, I, I know you're really good at what you do, and, and you're just brilliant when it comes to solving problems. I mean, I know you've solved some for me in the most unbelievable way, that I thought it was going to cost me an arm and a leg, and you made it so easy and so inexpensive and you solved the problem and I know you've done that for some people I know also. So Jerry Jeffries, how do we contact you? You can reach me at 901-327-1884. Uh, you can email me at jjeffries at tigerpawscarpet.com and you can find our website at tigerpawscarpet.com. Now we're talking about passing the critical test when your home and your finances need to look their best. Jerry, if I'm wanting to sell my house and I want to get top dollar from a buyer who may only see my house for a few minutes when they walk in for the first time, what are some good tips that you can give me to make my house look and smell clean and look clean? I recommend that you hire a professional house cleaner to come in and get all the things that you don't pay attention to. Right. The cobweb hanging from the popcorn ceiling, the the dust in your intakes and your vents. All of that stuff can draw the eye away from what you're trying to show, which is your beautiful new kitchen and your you know, your wonderfully staged living room, cleaning the carpets. People see those stains and they you know, like, uh eh, you get a you get a not not a clean feeling and uh-huh. not a clean impression. So, um, you know, see, they see that the carpet's not taken care of, then they want to wonder, then they wonder else what was, what else wasn't taken care of. Very good point there. So, um, having your, your home as clean and as presentable as it can possibly be decluttered, hire a staging company if you're unsure how to do it. A staging company will tell you that, uh, I think it's like up to an 800% rate of return based on the, the small amount of money you're going to spend to do that. The declutter and yeah. lighting. Yeah. Uh, there was a staging company that's been on our show that has stated stats that if you just declutter your home and you bring in a lot of light, then there's a over an 800% rate of return on your investment there. Yeah. It really, you know, and it's it's really not very expensive. People think it, it's uh, it, that it's crazy expensive, but it's not. I mean, a few hundred dollars and, and you can have your house looking like a million bucks. That's right. And, you know, a friend of mine told me that's been dealing with real estate. She said, you know, Joe, you can smell clean. And 90% of a buying decision is emotional. Right. Only 10% of a buying uh, decision is logical. But if you walk in and you see clean, you smell clean, right. automatically triggering those emotional buy, uh, the buy vibes, I would say. Right, right. So clean well, it up. Yep. Especially if you're a smoker. Um, there's things out there that we can do that will help remove those odors from your house. 
Well, you know, Jerry, you're absolutely right. And, and I like what you said about how sometimes we can't see and we can't smell what we're used to seeing and smelling every day. It's just part of the landscape for us. But other people, if you have pets or if mm-hmm. you smoke or you have, you like to cook things that maybe have a lingering odor, it's always good to have that third person come in there and uh, do the little details you don't see. It's all the those little details that make such a huge difference on whether that buyer is going to buy your home and whether they're going to pay top dollar for it. Absolutely. Jerry Jeffries from Tiger Paws Carpet and Upholstery Cleaning will be sharing some more of her wisdom with you. In this co-host chair, we have Jerry Jeffries of Tiger Paws Carpet and Upholstery Cleaning. And Jerry Jeffries, how do we contact you? You can reach us in our office at 901-327-1884. And I might like to mention that we were we have moved to a facility so that we can now take in area rugs and clean them as well. Oh, so. wow. Yeah, I remember you saying that. And we're located at 6047 Executive Center Drive, Suite 1. All right. So you're right here in Memphis, the Memphis area. And, Jerry, I'm, I'm just amazed at how well you've done with this company. And you are on the up and up, and you're also moving out and moving up. And, wow, you're a success story. Jerry, I want to go back and... Let's let's keep talking about uh, how to pass the critical test when your home and your finances need to look their best about your carpeting. And I know that you have some stories of how you've helped people pass that critical test when they needed to have their home and their carpet looking their best. So uh, relay that story we talked about. Okay, so moving maybe out of the rental into a new mortgage for their new home, um, they need to get that deposit back because... They're going to need that money. <laughs> yes, so, money is important. <laughs> and and if you've had a cat or a dog that's maybe been locked in a room and they paw at the doorway and they tear they they can tear that carpet threadbare, mm-hmm. um, we have a way to come in and fix that for you so that it's virtually not even noticeable. It's it's just patching and it's relatively inexpensive as compared to losing your thousand or two thousand dollar deposit. So I mean, a couple of hundred dollars, give or take. Um, if there's a area of carpet, maybe in a closet that's not attached to the rest of the carpet, that's mm-hmm. even better. We can take that carpet mm-hmm. and we can use the exact carpet to patch it. Um, and then we can put in something relatively close that mm-hmm. in the closet and, yeah. and they'll ne- never even know. No, <laughs> <laughs> they'll never even know that it was, uh, <laughs> replaced. So, um, patching the carpets is critical. It'll save you a lot of money. Stain removal. We get stains out, wine, ink toner, things like that, all can be done with a good deep clean. Well, you know, and there are some yucky puckies that you can't really see in your carpet, you know, especially if you have pets and you're trying to sell your home or you're trying to, like you said, a renter and you're trying to get out of the the apartment without losing your deposit. Jerry has a way of finding those odors using the black light scientific technique. I mean, (laughs) I've seen her do it. It is amazing. But anyway, yeah, she can find what you can't see and get rid of it all the way down to the pad uh, with this special enzyme kind of um, Mm -hmm. stuff, all that sciencey stuff. All that sciencey stuff. Yeah, Yeah, it's a, it's a, has live enzymes in it. So they eat the bacteria and it gets rid of the odor. Oh, I know it. I tell you what, there's a solution for everything. I want to go back and talk, cover a little bit more about how to pass that critical test when your home and your finances need to look their best. What are some tips that you can give us on how to maintain our, like, hardwood floors, uh, laminate, uh, carpet? What are some things that we can do on our own that will keep the life of that flooring and have you come in ever so often to help us? But what can we do? between the time you come and the time that you come the next time? For hardwood floors, I recommend a good dust mop um, and, and maintain that so that you don't have, um, you know, particles of dirt that tracked in on your feet will eventually scratch those floors. Mm-hmm. Um, carpet, vacuum, 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 vacuum. Mm-hmm. Uh, vacuuming the carpet keeps, the, the again, the soil that comes in from outside out of the carpet fibers, stops it from scratching them. Keeping your carpets clean like that will help reduce your traffic areas and... Um, just help you maintain a really good, clean carpet. I mean, I always recommend runners in high traffic areas anyway, mm-hmm. uh, especially if it's a it's a pattern you walk every single day from your bed to your closet, from your bed to your bathroom, mm-hmm. um, things like that. Mostly, mostly vacuuming and and making sure that it's taken care of properly. Um, we recommend cleaning the carpet once every eighteen months to maintain your warranty. 
And then, uh, you know, if you have pets and kids that spill and do, do other, other things, things. <laughs> <laughs> Take them on, then Jerry. sometimes you might want to do it a little bit more frequently. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you know, a lot of people may not realize, but you can save a lot of money and add a long longevity to your carpets if you can just stretch them, repair and stretch right. them. And you do that, too. We can come in and those waves that happen in a carpet over time is uh-huh. just really from you moving furniture back and forth and over and pushing the furniture across the carpet. Whenever you can you can do it, lift the furniture as opposed to pushing it because pushing it, especially if it's a heavy piece, will just stretch and pull at that carpet. But we can come in and fix it for you if that does happen. Instead of replacing your carpets right away and you, you know, you're looking at them and you don't think it, they look really good, let us come give you a real analysis of what's going on with the carpet, see if we can fix it for you. It can save you lots and lots of money and lots and lots of time and lots and lots of chaos. Well, I was talking to somebody the other day that used you for that, and they said, I just didn't think it was possible. They had some major event happen right in the middle of their living room carpeted floor. They were like, oh, it's just right there. I mean, I don't know how we're going to fix this. And you were able to come in and, and just patch and and, um, and make it look like it never happened. So, you know, and it cost him a fraction of the cost to, to repair it rather than having to replace all that carpet. Right. I mean, you're talking a few hundred dollars versus a few thousand. <laughs> happened. All right. Well, good to know that we have those kinds of solutions. Jerry, real quick, how do we contact you? 901-327-1884 or on the web at uh, tigerpawscarpet.com. Today on Real Estate Mortgage Shop, we're talking about passing the critical test. I mean, you guys are moving up and just expanding your expanding your business. Kudos to you, Jerry. Yes, so. I love I love a good deal. Thank you for listening to Real Estate Mortgage Shop, where we offer you solutions to your real estate and financing scenarios. I'm Joe Garner, your host, mortgage professional. Catch this podcast and more at jogarner.com.